Hello everyone and welcome to your lesson 1 in your module 4. So in this particular grammar lesson, you're going to learn how to express your opinions using modals. Expressing opinions requires certain word phrases in establishing our thoughts and ideas logically and explicitly. Most often than not, stating opinions involves the use of modals. These are verbs that express ideas, thoughts, or possibilities. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to construct meaningful sentences using proper modals. Practice using modal verbs appropriately in real-life contexts such as conversations, emails, and essays. And lastly, organize one's daily schedule by creating a timeline for personal and professional activities. So are you guys ready? Let's start! Here are some of the useful word expressions that state opinions. We have can, could, will, and would. So what's the difference between could and will? The modal could is used to express a scenario that has a low possibility of happening. On the other hand, the modal will is used to indicate that the scenario is 100% bound to happen. So let us look at some examples here. Egg exercising could improve my sense of well-being, motivation, and physical energy. In this example, it is expressed that there is a chance of obtaining the indicated benefits from exercising. Let's look at another one. Exercising will improve my sense of well-being, motivation, and physical energy. In this example, all the benefits brought by exercising are going to happen. So let's try to talk about the difference between could and would. Both models are used to express possibility. The contrast lies in the likelihood of an actual action happening. The modal could is used to say that an action or situation has a higher chance, but not assured, of happening. The modal would, on the other hand, is used for a possible or imagined situation, but with the notion that the possible situation may not happen. Let's look at some of the examples. Exercising could make people happier, satisfied, or have a positive outlook on life. Now this sentence indicates that exercising has a good chance of making someone achieve positive benefits. Here's another one. Yan Yan would exercise this coming Friday. This sentence implies that there is a possible situation that Yan Yan wants to exercise on Friday but maybe it's not actually possible. He might be thinking about doing the exercise, but under favorable conditions. So when should you use the modal can? The modal can is used to express an ability or an informal request. It also suggests a belief or knowledge that's certain or true. So let us try to look at some of the examples. Physical activities can help reduce the risk of major depression by 26%. Endocannabinoids can promote short-term psychoactive effects such as reduced anxiety and feelings of calm. In the first sentence, it was expressed that the risk of depression can be reduced by engaging in physical activities. The second sentence enforces the fact that endocannabinoids have beneficial effects on the mind. Now that you've learned how to express yourself using modals, let us try some activities to test your knowledge. So let's try it. Which of the following sentences indicates the lowest possibility? The correct answer is, running for 30 minutes a day could help avoid type 2 diabetes. Let's try another one. What model should you use if you are certain that a scenario is 100% going to happen? The correct answer is, well, let's try another one. What is the most suitable model for the statement below? The correct answer is, can. All of these models can be used in different situations. How you express your opinion depends highly on your intended context and expression. 